Hello, everyone. Thanks for logging on to CBSColorado.com. Time now for a few extra minutes with quarterback of your Denver Broncos, Jared Stidham, in the house. Jared, so happy to have you here. And we were just talking on Monday Live about if you make any bets with Bama guys. Yeah, I, usually I, whoever loses comes next day head to toe in yeah. uh, the other person's gear. Yeah. And Auburn lost this year. But the Bama guys forgot to bring the gear, so I didn't have to do anything. So that's really on them. Um, but it's all it's all fun. I've had I to like do it, it a couple times in my like career. It. So <laughs> does anyone get does anyone get mad? Uh, not not necessarily. No. Not yeah. mad. It just I was upset that we lost the way we did because it was horrendous. But it's fair. It's uh, it's part that's of fair. it. Is there like smack talk going on during the? Oh, week? for sure. Yeah, there's got even be. if even like if if Auburn was 0 and 11 going into that game, Absolutely. I would still. Yeah, talk it up. Well, you know what's funny? Like, Pat Sertan is like, he's, oh, he always says, like, let my play do the talking. Yeah. Is he, like, low-key a smack talker when it comes to this, oh, though? Oh, for sure. Okay. He thinks the Bama is the greatest thing ever. Okay. I like it. You just got to knock it out of him. You just remind him of 2017. Yeah, exactly. Every time. I love <laughs> it. Um, Jerry, I wanted to talk to you about your approach to the game. So we had Marvin Mims on last week, and he said something that, that I thought was great. He said that, talked about how studious you are and how much you, you know, respect and are serious about the game, but yet you approach it with a kid-like mentality. Yeah. Yeah. And I thought, God, that's so great. Like, I think we forget a lot of times, and the people who have the most success remember, you know, that kid-like mentality, yeah. if you will. Can you, what is your approach to the game? I mean, look, at the end of the day, we get to play football for a living, yeah. which is the coolest thing in the world. Um, so I, I always keep that in the back of my mind. Like, at the end of the, at the, end of the, day, of the day, like, I started playing this game when I was five or six years old, yeah. and it's... It's still the same game. It's just on bigger stakes or, you know, brighter lights, whatever you want to call it. So um, I always keep that perspective in mind. Um, and I, I obviously I try to know exactly what I'm supposed to be doing on every single play. I take pride in knowing what everybody else is supposed to is supposed to be doing. Um, and I, I just I like to have a lot of fun. You always see me smiling on the field and, you know, in between plays or whatever it might be, talking to the guys. Yeah. Uh, it's just what it's about. It's a lot of fun. That's so cool. I love that. I feel like we have really picked up on that. And it looks like you're having fun. And the guys feed off of it. They're having fun, too. Um, and it feels like every single guy I've had on this show just raves about you, just how great you are, how much they love you. It feels like the chemistry in this locker room is incredible yeah. and you talk about a winning culture right that's an intangible piece yep. can you take us inside this locker room yeah it's it's a great group of guys um sean's done a great job bringing in a great staff uh but when you talk about the actual players in the locker room um i can't speak highly enough about these guys mm -hmm. like some of my honestly some of my fondest memories of of this year mm -hmm. were getting a win on the road and then our plane rides back Cool. Like all hanging out at the front of the plane, playing cards, blaring music, like just having a great time. And that's what it's about. Because whenever you actually genuinely care about the other person that yeah. you're lining up next to, um, you just play a little harder for them. So uh, I think top to bottom, like this is a great, great group of guys. And, you know, excited for next year for sure. It's so fun. It's fun when, to hear you say that. And then you talk about next year. There does feel like there's all these pieces uh, to put together that will make you guys successful. What do you feel like is the biggest leap this group has to take? Yeah, I mean, I think obviously we just got to get over the hump. Um, you know, there's a couple humps that we got over this year, beating Kansas City, um, obviously after however many years it was and not Too beating many. them. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's just one of those things when, again, when you have a new coach come in and establish a culture, it's being able to, to buy into that culture and, and really take the next step into the next year. So uh, we got great le leadership on this team. Um, and super excited, you know, for this spring and, you know, what's to come. When you look at your off season, I hope, I'm hoping you're getting away for a little bit, have a little bit of fun. How hard do you dig in? What do you focus on? What does Jarrett's off season look like? Yeah, I, I always take a little time to just kind of detox, relax, um, be a be a husband, be a father, and then, you know, here in a couple of weeks, I'll start ramping it up and. You know, I won't I won't touch a football for a little bit just to give my arm a break after throwing for so long. But uh, really, just start with the body and and kind of fine tune some things that I can that I can really work on. And then, as spring gets closer, OTAs that sort of thing, really start focusing more mechanics and stuff like that. So, uh, like I said, I have a process that I've been doing the last couple of years and it works. And 
um, I'm really looking forward to this year. When you think about next year, and, and you know it could be a, a huge year for you, how much did these two games help you achieve what you hope to achieve next season? Yeah, obviously it's always good to get out there and, and, and play. And like I said, playing in the new system, being able to make calls at the line of scrimmage and understand why we're calling a, a certain pass play against a coverage and, and being able to like feel it out on the field and not just watch it on tape, you know? So it's that that's one part of it, but also just playing with the guys sure. and kind of just gelling with those guys up front. Um, you know, the receivers getting timing down, all, all those sorts of things. Like I think just the, the more that we can play together and have that continuity, the better that we're going to be. And uh, also off the field, you're, you're a husband, you're a father. I think your wife's very cool, by the way. She's influenced <laughs> me many times. I buy all the things she talks about. Uh, but, but what's it like? She posts a lot. You got your young daughter at yeah. the game. What's it like to have to play and your daughter be able to see you and, and know what you're doing? Yeah, I, I, I was telling her um, after we beat the Chargers last week, it's just it's so cool as a dad to to have your have your kid at the game yeah. um, seeing seeing your kid see you like live out your dream and yeah. that's obviously something that i want to you know help my kids fulfill one day is just whatever they want to do whatever they want to believe in dream in uh just chase it and i mean really anything's possible i mean i didn't really come from an athletic family necessarily or anything football family and uh just worked my way up and um, you know, it's something I definitely want to instill in my kids for sure. That's so beautiful. That's awesome. And now, now you're get, getting a boy. Yeah. Is oh that, yeah. Like, I feel like that's every guy's oh, dream. Oh, we're we're excited. Yeah. I mean, I got my princess for sure, right. and she's she's the best. Yeah. She's always going to be course. daddy's little girl. Yeah. But my guy's going to start throwing as soon as he comes oh, out. Oh, is he? For sure. We got another quarterback. <laughs> I mean, I, I'd like to think so. I like that. So what's Hopefully. that, like the 2044 draft? Yeah, I hope Auburn offers him as soon as he's, you know, here, um, you know, just so we can go ahead and get an offer get out of the way. Get it locked in. Um, but we'll see. I like it. I'm super, super Put it stoked. in the books. Put yeah. it in the books. Jared, it's been such a treat to have you tonight. Before I let you go, what's been your best memory from this season? Oh, man. I, I think just getting to know some of these guys and um, getting to play with these, some of these guys. Like, you talk about some of the best defensive backs in the league, Justin, Pat. I mean, we, we just got so many great players and being able to play with some of these guys that, you know, I really look forward to playing against. And um, it's just, it's been an, an honor to be in the locker room with those guys and uh, just super proud to be their teammate. And uh, just can't, can't speak enough you know, highly enough about the guys. That's awesome. Well, I will tell you, everyone we've had on the show says the same thing <laughs> about you. Jared, this has been such a treat. We cannot wait to see you leading the way in Broncos country next season. Appreciate Thank you so it. much for taking the time tonight. Appreciate you guys having me. Guys, that's all do it for us. We'll see you next time.